the tutorial that's going to show you how to make this birds of a feather scarf. And what you need for this tutorial is a 5 millimeter hook and a pair of scissors. And also you're going to need two different colors. One is going to be your main color, which is usually the darker color, and then a light color that will look pretty and offset it. I know these are kind of weird colors, but I'm hoping that they'll show up well on camera so that you can see what I'm doing. So get those supplies and let's get started. So when you're ready to begin, you want to create your slip knot further down, leaving yourself a bit of tail to make the fringe of the uh, scarf. Which if you don't know what fringe is, this is the fringe on the end of the scarf. So you'll want to loosely chain, which means to go through and don't pull it anything tight. You can even pull out your loop a little bit and just try to make it as loose as you can. Do not have a tight chain at the beginning because if you do, you'll have your scarf kind of tend to pull in more where the chain is. And single crochets and double crochets are much looser, so they're gonna, it's going to start to fan out. And you don't want to do that. So you want to make sure your beginning chain is done loosely, even by pulling your loop out to make a looser chain. So just do multiples of three. And then when you're ready, uh, it's about the right size that you like, then add plus two. So the multiples of this scarf is three plus two because you want to make sure that you have on the end one extra stitch and you're going to lose one stitch the second you begin your scarf because you're going to be going into the second chain from the hook. So just go ahead and you can chain my scarf over here. I chained 152. So if you want uh, that size scarf, which measures when it was done, um, 166 centimeters long, 15 centimeters wide or 65 inches long and six inches wide. So if that sounds about right for you, then maybe you want to go ahead and chain 152 as well. If not, then feel free to shorten it or even make it longer. So continue to do that. Chain in multiples of three or chain 152. Okay. If you like, um, every row will have the, the fringe. You can be cutting and um, starting every row, which is what we're going to be doing. But for this very first row, since we're, since we're going to stay with our main color, you uh, can just go ahead and stick with it. Unless you're a perfectionist, then you can go ahead and chain one more and then uh, leave yourself some fringe and cut it and then restart again. But I'm not going to do that. I can survive having one row without fringe. So... I'm just going to go ahead and start my next row. So in the second chain from the hook, you want to go ahead and do a single crochet. Then you want a single crochet in each stitch down your scarf. When you get to the end of the row, I'll show you what you need to do. Okay, from here on out, during the main part of your scarf, the exception for the last row of your scarf where you'll be doing a single crochet row. You're only going to be working, there'll be a right side of the scarf and a back side of the scarf. Though it is really difficult to tell which is which, so uh, in the end there's not going to be much of a change. But for when you're making it, you need to make sure you just stay with the right side facing. So what I'm going to do is I got to the very end of my row. I got my single crochet done. So what I want to do is just do chain and then I'm going to cut my yarn about the same doesn't have to be perfect but about the same length then pull through just by pulling up your yarn and then you're done with your second row or your your first row now for your second row, you also want to stay with your main color. So again, you're going to create your slip knot a little bit ways down 
stay with about the same length if you can of the fringe on this side so just estimate good enough and then create your slip knot Now what we're going to do is a double crochet attachment and how you do that is like when you're doing a regular double crochet you always do a, a, a yarn over and that's what we're going to be doing now so you've got your slip knot you just want to go ahead and yarn over then you want to hold that with your finger so that it doesn't slip off I'm going to hold the other part with my other finger here. Just keep that loop there. You just basically, you twisted it around. Now, you want to go ahead, grab your piece that you're working on, and in this first stitch, insert your hook. Now you want to pull up a loop. Now you have three loops on your hook. Yarn over. You're only going to be pulling through two, then yarn over, and you'll pull through the other two. And that's how you do the single, I mean the double crochet attachment. And I know you can rewind, but I'll show you one more time. You'll want to just loop over, hold it with your finger, get your project. attachment now now you want to chain two you'll chain two after every double crochet this round and then you'll want to skip two stitches so you have one two so in this third stitch here you want to put a double crochet and then again you want to chain two and then skip two, one, two, and in the third stitch, put a double crochet. And then again, chain two, skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third, you'll do a double crochet. And continue to do this all the way down your scarf. And I'll see you back here when you reach the end of your row. So again, when you get to the end of your row, you want to chain one, and then you'll want to cut your yarn about the same as the others. Then you'll just pull up your loop, then tug on it to tighten. Now again, you're still working with this right side facing you. And now you're ready for your secondary color. So let me just get this main color out of my way get my secondary color I hope this isn't going to be too bright for your eyes okay when you're ready to do your secondary color here we're going to be doing a single crochet attachment and again leave yourself a bit of a tail before you create your slip knot And then grab your project here. And then the very first double crochet here on the top of this stitch, you just want to go ahead and insert your, your hook, pull up a loop, which will give you your two stitches, I mean your two loops on your hook. Then you'll yarn over and just pull through those two loops. And that's how you make your single crochet attachment. And I'll show you one more time. You just go into that first stitch, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops. Now we're going to be doing what's called a cross stitch. Cross stitch is really simple. 
you're just crossing one double crochet over the other. So you always want to begin with your first double crochet on the farther of the two stitches. So you want to skip the first stitch and then go into the second one, put a double crochet, and then you'll want to go back and do your double crochet in this stitch that you just skipped. So you want to yarn over, go into the second stitch here, and do a double crochet. And then in that stitch here that we just skipped, you want to do a double crochet into that. So I just basically I crossed over two double crochets. Then you'll want to go in and in this double crochet from last round, you'll want to put a single crochet in the top of it. So you'll always be putting a single crochet in the tops of the double crochets and then you'll do a cross stitch using these two skip stitches from last round and then you'll put a single crochet in the top of the next double crochet. So we just did that and we're back to our skipped stitches here. So we're going to do our crossover stitch again. Yarn over, skip this first stitch, and then go into the farther one. And then yarn over, and now you want to go into this skipped stitch. And that's how we did our crossover. And then again, double crochet here. So do a single crochet on the top of your double crochet from last round. Yarn over again, going in to that skip stitch down there, do a double crochet. And then the one we just skipped, there you go. And then you'll do a single crochet here. And you'll just repeat this for this round of your scarf. So very last stitch of the round, so double crochet. There we go. <laughs> that helped grabbing the uh, fringe. That's my stitch. Okay, then into this row again, you'll want to chain one and cut your yarn. You'll always be ending and beginning with. Um, double crochet or single crochet, double crochet. You just need to always begin and end with uh, a stitch. Okay, so for round four, you want to switch back to your main color. And for this round, we're going to do a double crochet attachment. Make sure that you leave your extra yarn here. And then again, we're going to be yarning over, just like we did before. Just yarn over like you're going to do a double crochet. Go into that very first stitch of your single crochet. And do a double crochet attachment. So pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two loops, yarn over, pull through two loops. Then you'll want to chain two. And again, we're going to be skipping two stitches, which is pretty easy to see this round because the two stitches are our cross stitch from the previous round. So the stitch that we'll always be wanting to go in is our single crochet. So find your single crochet and put your double crochet into it. It will always go double crochet, single crochet, double crochet, and then the next will be a single crochet. You're going to always have it alternating here. So when you get done with your double crochet, chain two, skip two stitches, which are going to be your cross stitch, and go right into that single crochet. Chain two, skip two stitches, and double crochet to the next stitch which will always be your single crochet. So continue to do this 
for round four and I'll see you when you get and to again. the end. When you get to the end of the round, you'll always want to chain one and catch your yarn leaving fringe on that side. Then you'll grab your secondary color. This first part that we did when we did our main color, whoops, sorry, the camera's in reverse, so <laughs> confuses me sometimes. So this first main color that we did, and then we do a secondary color, which basically fills in the spaces like here. So this is what's called a set. So you, you have two rows that complete a set. Now we just did the first part of the set, and then when we use a secondary color to fill in these holes here, it will complete our second set. It's important that you remember because um, each set is a complete, basically, of the round. I don't know if you've ever done the crocodile stitch, but it basically it completes itself. So um, for the scarf that I did here, it is a total of nine sets. So I did those two rows over and over and over again and completed one set, then two sets, and then the third and the fourth. So I did this for a total of nine times. Let me get this out of the way here. Okay, so we're starting uh, to, we're gonna be completing our second set here. So grab your secondary color. Again, leaving yourself a bit of tail in the end for fringe. Create your slip knot. And then we'll be doing a single crochet attachment on top of our double crochet here. So go in to the stitch on the top of your double crochet. And then you just want to insert your hook. Get out of my way, tail. Hold that down out of my way. You just want to insert your hook and then pull up a loop. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, make your single crochet. And now we're going to be doing our cross stitches again. So you're going to be going in through again this one and then you go back to that one. So you're skipping the first one, going right into the second stitch, doing a double crochet. Then you'll yarn over to do the double crochet here in the skipped stitch. And then again, we'll be doing a single crochet on the tops of our double crochet. And again, doing our cross stitch, double crochet, and then go back into the one you skipped. And you'll wanna continue to do this so you get to the end of your row. So you'll remember you'll always do a whoops, you always do a single crochet in the tops of your double crochets, and then you'll do a cross stitch, then single crochet, cross stitch, single crochet, and then you'll complete your second set. Okay. A single crochet in your very last stitch, and then again you want to chain one. And then you'll cut your yarn on this side. Pull your loop up, tighten it. And then now you're going to be starting with your main color again. Doing a double crochet attachment, chain two, and then in the next single crochet, do double crochet, chain two, double crochet. And you'll just continue to do this over and over and over again until your scarf is as wide as you like. Like I said, I did mine for nine sets. You've just completed your second set. So you can continue to do it for nine sets or you can do it for less. But whenever you're ready to complete your scarf, you want to make sure that you end on the uh, completed set, which would be on your secondary color. And then get your main color again. And then you'll do a single crochet attachment. This is for when you're ready to finish your scarf. So you'll do a single crochet attachment with your main color. And then you will just do one single crochet 
in each stitch. And this is to finish your scarf once you're done making it as wide as you like. And it's going to make the same kind of nice border on this side as it has on this side. You'll chain one and uh, leave leaving fringe. You'll in this round and then that'll be it. That'll be the end of your scarf. And with this, with this pattern, you can make an afghan. You can make it as long as you want. There's lots of uh, sites out there that teach you the sizes and how much you need to chain and things like that. So you can find one of those sites and make it for um, whatever afghan size that you want. And I also made a rug, and I can show you some pictures of that. I started making a, an afghan and decided I didn't like the colors, so I just went ahead and uh, decided to use it for a rug. And I really like it. So that's it. I hope that you like this tutorial for the birds of a feather, um, I guess, scarf afghan stitch. And if you did like this video, please don't forget to click like and share. It helps me so much. And please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks so much for watching.